Hollywood. I got mad skills. It's the Tom Likas Show. Too cool. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Here we are together again on the radio. I want to ask my boys a question here. We've been talking about sloppy seconds. And uh, we're going to have a conversation here right now about this. Let's get this right out in the open. Dean, if I uh, if I had had my way with a young lady and uh, finally I was done and I put her in the recycle bin, would you take her out of the recycle bin? Well, you're my boss, so the answer is no. But if you were a, f- a friend also, just without being the boss part, because really it does get kind of tricky. You have been with some pretty hot chicks, so... What if I told you I didn't care? But I would have to ask you. I, it's All tough. Right, let's say you ask me, uh, okay. and I said I don't care. You know, there's some people you would say, you know, if he's been there, I don't want to go there. Would, would you take my sloppy seconds if it was okay with me? Not you. No, I wouldn't. I not would. My. I would do it to Gary, but I would not do it to you. <laughs> really? Only because of the ramifications. I, even if you said it was okay, I, I think a lot of times a lot of guys say, "Oh yeah, that's." That's cool. You can have her. I'm I'm done with her. But I really think there's something lingering that uh, a lot of unfinished business. I don't want to get in the middle of that. So you said, I, I dump them for all kinds of reasons. You know, uh, maybe uh, sometimes they just uh, they talk too much or they show up too much. Yeah, but he's saying no because he thinks you'll have an issue with it. But not, I, I not just, because not because he wouldn't go there. You know, because he was you know disgusted by it. Or well, oh no, I, I, I find out. I would love to knock go it out with, with some of your girls. I wouldn't go there with Dean's girls because I'd be disgusted by it. <laughs> okay, I, I, it, it would have nothing to do with whether he cared. It, it's 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 the fact that I care about the <laughs> he's the fact that he's been there. Right. I don't want to go where he's been. Right. But is that because of who he is or, yes. who, or who they are? Yes. No, it's because who he is. Who he is definitely. So if yeah. he had, like, yeah. the hottest, youngest... Doesn't matter. If he's been there, I don't want to go there. Really? Yeah, no. I'm out. Do you feel that way about Gary? Yeah. Oh, his stuff no, wouldn't would stop me. I would do it, it in a second. Yeah. Do it in a second. Yeah. Oh, some of his, his ex-girlfriends, one in particular, if he, I wouldn't even care. Green wouldn't light care. that, I'm in. Uh, if he green lighted? Sure. I, I would I'd I'd have to tell him though, but if she did approach me, I'd be like, "Oh yeah, right away, no problem. Let's just call Gary and get this out of the way." Uh, but you, so you would go where Gary's been, but not where I've been, right? Even if I said okay, but I know you might not mean it's okay. You're saying no, it's okay, I, no, but no, I'm not. Why well, you think I'm my brother? I'm not. <laughs> my brother's very accommodating, nice guy. Uh, my, my opinion, uh, you know, my brother and I uh, have a lot of great things in common. We spend a lot of great time together. I think my brother's a little too accommodating uh, and would probably say something like that and then not mean it. I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. If I said, hey, go for it, um, I, I would mean it 100%. Well, there's a reason why you're you're getting rid of them to begin with. So, I mean, and but it may not be some fatal reason, like they've got some disease or they, uh, they you know, that they're stalkers. Now, one in particular was a stalker. I, I wouldn't wish her on you. By the way, the stalker, I've gotten calls from another guy I know who knows her, and who called me and asked me if I minded if he was with her. Boy, is he in for it. And I said, are you kidding? Why would I mind? That's a call to make, by I want to see that. Is it cool if I do your damaged goods? Yeah. You know, remember that chick who stalked me and was ringing my doorbell late at night for like like an hour and a half? Was trying to keep me awake all night long? Do you mind if I hit that? I, I actually got this call. Didn't you have to shut the... Uh doorbell off was that, I, was well that she didn't know i had the ability to just flip a switch and shut the doorbell off and i, would, I did i'd love the security tape on that night oh i've got that security tape oh yeah <laughs> she didn't know she was being videotaped from 13 different angles she had no idea nothing like a fired up latina outside oh, yeah. your doorbell um, or ringing had, your door i've had more than one but uh, seriously speaking, I mean, if he wants if this guy I'm talking about, if he wants to hit it or you want to hit it, be my guest. Well, I'll, what I'll about give you us? the phone number right now. What about us? Uh, it would depend on if it was my taste in girls. Uh, I wouldn't have any problem. If you guys had no problem with it. But I, but I wouldn't want to pull rank. I wouldn't want to think that you were letting me do it because I'm the, the radio guy and you guys work with me. I, I would really want to know that you had signed off on it. 
But if you gave me reasons to believe there was trouble afoot, like a person was mentally unstable to the point of, uh, who knows, killing me, uh, you know, stalking me, whatever. Have at it. Yeah, well, that's, <laughs> that's my point. That'd be a great run. I'd step away. I would step away. But uh, if there was somebody, and maybe you just had, you know, uh, four chairs, all, you know, four, instead of six chairs, no waiting, you had four chairs and they were all full. And you couldn't handle all the business. Um, if you had somebody that I desired and you didn't have a problem with, I wouldn't have a problem going there. If I think a lot, I think a lot of people say that it's cool and it's and and they're not bothered by it, but I think they actually are bothered by it. And the other point that I was making before is that I think that there's definitely um, people in uh, relationships that ha still have a problem with who their partner's been with in the past. There's there's always somebody in Which always past. amazes me because right. the reality is you have no idea who your partner's been with in the past. Right. And chances are they've done selective editing and they haven't told you about that one time with the hooker or that one time with the amputee or that one time where you thought the person might have been a guy and was uh, <laughs> looked like a girl but had an Adam's apple. Uh, yeah, Dean's they, been with that one. Yeah, there, there you go. Good. And there, there, there's always that one, uh, that uh, at least one, that, that you haven't been told about. I'm always amazed at the number of women who wouldn't go out with somebody because of some particular guy uh, or some particular woman the guy went, went out with and, and have no idea who any guy has been out with at all. Yet they jump right into bed. You know, if Brad Pitt took a night off from Angelina Jolie, I guarantee you, these women wouldn't care who Brad Pitt's been with or in what dark alley he may have been in 15 years. Wouldn't care. Wouldn't care. By the way, you bring up a good point. I mean, how many, how many just celebrity guys has Jennifer Aniston been with? That's a good question. What's our boy John Mayer like dealing with now? I mean, he's, 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 you know, been where who knows how many guys have oh, been. And it's, and Brad Pitt's been there. John Mayer's list is long Severe. and distinguished, oh, well, so too. him alone. Right. Brad Pitt has no problem with sloppy second. No. I mean, I'm sorry, I, 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 John, John Mayer. John Mayer. No, he'll, no, he'll hit it up. Oh, but Brad Pitt, but uh, John Mayer has hit up some sloppy seconds in his time. Oh, no doubt. As far as I can tell. He's created some sloppy seconds, well, too. Well, that's created yeah. a lot of sloppy seconds right here in this town. So would Pam Anderson stop you for, because no. she's been See with that? everybody no. and their brother? I'm cool with that. I'm not cool with the Hep C. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's where I draw the line. I, How about you? Pam, I mean, Pam. many people. I've probably been with people who haven't, but I know she has. Pam is in that. Uh, you know, she, she's okay no matter what happens. She gets a pass. Me. She gets a pass for me. I, okay. Yeah, I'd liver surgery not appealing. <laughs> Possibility of losing the liver, not a good a liver transplant. You no. would pass up an opportunity to get with Pam Anderson. I would, because of that. How about Penelope Cruz with Hep C? If she had it, I'm not saying she did. I'm, yes, I'm hypothetical. Not. Nope. It's Hep. C. It's the Hep C. It's Selma, the hep C. Selma Hayek with Hep C. Hep C. Nope. Out. Wow. Out. I don't know whether yeah, guns could, to bring like, out. Those could, are the two guns for him. You could triple wrap that thing. You'd be fine. You'd be, it's, it's all good. And, uh, you just never know, you know, where your mouth is going or Come what on. you're gonna do. Selma Hayek. I could see it. Really? Uh, I could see. Yeah. It. Not worth losing That's, my liver for that. Not, yeah. not even worth. Not even that is worth losing my liver. You, you lost half of it already with all this boozing. So <laughs> After a couple glasses of Merlot. Come on. That's why I need it now more than ever. But that's the question. I, I'm just wondering, and, and we'll talk about it this hour. I'm wondering, you know, how do you feel about going where your friends have been before? How do you feel about going? If it's okay, I'm not talking about going behind their back. We have all these sleaze bags you call in here. Well, I'm with my best friend's girlfriend. No, no, no. We're not talking about that. Say your friend has just signed off on it. It's like, okay, I don't care. You know what? I put her out to the recycle bin for a reason. You want her? Take her. How many times have I said that to you guys? Come on. You want her? Take her. She's all yours. You want her? She's all yours. That's true at events. He does say that. Yeah. Take it. Take but, it. But you know, you, you know, whoever he's talking about has been dragged through it pretty, pretty, you know. Or they heavily. have blonde hair, so he's automatically out. Blonde hair and blue eyes, he he's out. So, well, that's a whole other story. <laughs> but seriously speaking, I mean, uh, I I don't. I honestly don't care. First of all, especially at this point in my life, I have no emotional attachment to these broads, okay? None. I, I you know, Once I've had it, once I've gotten what I wanted to get, you know, I pretty much move on. It's like, am I jealous that somebody drives my 1997 Lexus LS400? No, I'm not. I, I, I was there first. I smelled the leather. I got that nice, smooth ride. And then I got cashola, but I traded it in. 
mean somebody else should drive it? In good health. All I know is I can buy and sell that person who has my Lexus from 1997. <laughs> And he's getting a car with no leather smell in there at all. Well, I think that's the good thing with us is that we all have our own different taste in women. It, it, it overlaps in, in certain places. That's why it's always worked out. This has never been an issue. Right, but I would imagine it's an issue with other guys for sure. Well, that's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm uh, hoping to find out here. So uh, that's my question for you guys. All right. Uh, do you want to go where your friends have been? Again, this is assuming they've signed off on it. I'm not talking about behind-the-back stuff or behind-the-back intrigue or having affairs with your uh, best friend girlfriend or anything like that. I'm talking about, okay, your friend banged the hell out of somebody. He can't take it anymore. He's moved on. And he says, if you want it, go for it. Would you actually go for it? Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. A Tom Likas show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Would you go there? If a friend had already been there, Michelle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Dad. Hi, dear. You know what? I had a friend that she said it was all right for me to be with this guy that she had been with when I was single, and I wouldn't touch him for nothing. I knew she had had something, and she was kind of one that slept around, and I wouldn't touch it, and I had full permission to go do whatever I wanted and now I had to politely decline. I didn't say why, but I just I wouldn't have it. Wow. Oh yeah. And why why why, why, fun, why is that though? It's not I, like you said it's not worth getting something, especially if you know it's not worth it. Well, uh, here's my question for you. What is your reason? Why not? You know what? I knew she had an STD. Oh, well, that's and a good reason. I would not have anything to do with them because even what if the condom breaks? What? Well, that's a whole other question. If there's an STD, that that adds a whole other element here. But let's say you don't know about any STDs. Would you go there then? No, I'm not one to sleep around. I never was. And but I I'm not talking about now. sleeping around. One of these, the love of your life, your next boyfriend, your next husband. I mean, anything. I'm just, I'm not talking about sleeping with a hundred people. I'm talking about uh, if somebody uh, you know had been there before you, would you go there and why not? No, I wouldn't go there. Even if there was no STD that I knew about, I knew my friend's been with them and I knew she slept around and I don't want to have to deal with that. So you're, oh, your friend is a bigger, uh, your friend's a bigger slut than you are, is that right? Oh, oh by far. <laughs> mm. yeah. And why is your best friend a slut? You know, I have no clue. I don't, she likes it from, I guess, a hundred different people, but I'm just not like that. I take care of one man, that's it. <laughs> Could you give her my number? <laughs> She probably already has it, Tom. <laughs> I think you're right. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here's Jake on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? It's what? a great honor to finally talk to you. I know it is. Um, basically, my thoughts on this are: it's like using your friend's dirty underwear. Well, not really. I'm hoping they've showered that off by the time it gets to me. Uh, you never know if you're going to come across a couple stains here and there, though. Well, come on. Everybody you're with is going to be used by somebody else. Well, it's not that bad if you did it after the fact, if you both got with the same girls and they found out later, because then it's kind of like a high five. But if you know already, uh, so nasty. So it would be okay with you if you didn't know in advance, but if you did know, you couldn't do it. And the reason is what now? Well, if, if I did know before the fact, it'd just be kind of gross, because my friends are slutty, so... <laughs> well, let me ask you a question. If you were with a chick, would you also want to be with her sister? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Why? I, I guess I'm just a twisted cookie in that respect. Oh, how about a, a girl and her mother? Uh, yeah, that too. Well, then why, why would the other be a problem? I, it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's, like I said before, it is like wearing your buddy's underwear. He's been in there, he's done some damage, and I don't want to go there. But the point is, somebody has done some damage on every chick you've ever been with. That's true. That's very true. But I, I think if you go in there with the, the foreknowledge that they have some STD or that your friend's a slut and he might have something... Well, we didn't bring up again. We're not. We're, we're leaving that part out. Let's say that girl... It was, it was the, your friend is the first guy she's ever been with. And now tag, you're next. Uh, you know, to me, it's kind of like just getting sloppy seconds. It's more like a pride thing. Sloppy too. seconds? Am I supposed to bleep that? <laughs> I hope not. Oh. Sloppy seconds. 
Am I allowed to say that? I don't know. All right, Jake, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. Dexter on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing tonight? Doing okay. Well, I just wanted to chime in and say I've taken floppy seconds from my friends on multiple occasions, and I do not have a problem with it. Uh, that's what I'm saying. I wouldn't have a problem with it. Uh, I, I really, uh, if the other person didn't have a problem. And it's somebody I lost. Let's say that one of my friends uh, took a walk on the wild side. Because my guy's friends all have, like, different tastes in women than I do. I I have always been obsessed with, with Latinas, okay? With women who speak Spanish, mostly from other countries. Okay, that's always been my, my preference. So let's say one of my guy friends decided to give that a try. And he decided, uh, for whatever reason, it just wasn't to his liking. But he said to me, you know what? This this is definitely has your name on it. Why would I say no to that? Absolutely. There, there, there's no reason to. Yeah. I mean, if, if they're handing it over to you and the girl is willing, it, it's, it's, you wouldn't turn down a date at a bar um, based on, you know, who that chick's been with. You, you, don't, you don't know who she's been with. You know, she could have been, she been with her brother last night for all you know. I mean, you have no idea. Yeah, and you, you you can't speculate. You can't do anything based on speculation. So just because you know who she's been with shouldn't make a difference. I agree with you. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Kurt on the Tom Likas Show. Hey there, Tom. How's it going? Great. Hey, uh, I've had that happen to me before. My uh, What a good friend of mine, he was dating this girl. They've only been dating for probably, I don't know, about three months or so. And she'd come on to me one day, so I did the thing that every good friend would do. I told him, I said, hey, your girl's kind of, you know, getting a little close with me. And uh, he was like, oh, no, it's cool, it's whatever, we're not, we're not that big of a deal, you know. If she's with, you know, she's, she's into you, then go ahead, go, go for it. And I was like, I don't know, dude. Well, one day, she's over there, They're just, we're just hanging out playing pool. I go outside, she comes outside. She started coming on to me. I started messing around with her. He comes outside pissed. He's he's livid. But he told you it was okay. He told me everything was cool. Oh yeah, no problem. You know, no big deal. No big deal. Everything's fine. We're not that. You know, we're not that. Uh, we're not that deep. Now, what if he uh, turned uh, you on to her? Like he said, you know what? I tossed this chick, but she's really more your speed. Well, how would you feel well, about that? Probably, well, I've been all right with that too. But the fact is, he said it. And then reneged on it later. I don't get that at all. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Jessica on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom, long time listener, first time caller. Long time listener, first time caller. Hi, how are you? I just want to let you know I love your show. I listen to you every day. Thank you. Yeah, um, I just wanted to talk to you about. Um, how my roommate, um, her actual, her boyfriend wanted to like, hook up with me, but I won't because I think it's really disgusting how slutty she is. Like, she hooks up with anyone and everyone. Like, every, I don't know, basically every day, she, like, I mean, she cheats on her boyfriend and every time we go out to a club. Like, she hooks up with, like, old men, like, 80-year-olds, like, 60-year-olds. 80-year-olds? Yeah, like, she is. She really? She said the oldest guy she's hooked up with is 75. 75? Is that what she's into? She's into anything, I swear. Like, anyone, anyone. Anyone, anytime. So her fufu is like a Petri dish is what you're telling me? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. And her boyfriend, like, asks, like, tries to hook up with me, like, every week. And I just keep saying no because of how disgusting. Well, you I mean her 75-year-old boyfriend? Which one? No, he's he's twenty five. Oh, twenty five. Oh, so she has a boyfriend, and on the side, she's going after the seventy five year olds. Right. Wow. Yeah. I mean, she's had like threesomes, like a lot too, and I just think it's just—I don't even want to go in her room. It's just the same. You don't even want to go in her room? Yeah, I feel like I might catch something. Like I don't even drink out of like the same glasses that we Do have. Do you sit like, on her bed when you go into her room? No, I don't. No? Does she know why? Um, I mean, when she's... I mean, I've walked in, and a guy ran out of her room, and I've asked her, I was like, did you guys do anything? She's like, no. 
And then, like, I looked on the floor, and there's, like, a used condom. Really? Yeah. That's how, like, she, like, she gets, like, plastered, and then she doesn't know what she does. I'm imagining you sitting on the bed, and there being, like, these snail trails there. <laughs> yeah. And then she also sleeps with her, her dad. Like, she tells me all this. She sleeps with her dad's client. Really? Yeah. Wow. What's her number? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you want it. Uh, you know what? It's probably on a bathroom wall somewhere. <laughs> yeah. I, I just wanted to share that with you. Uh, sounds like she'd like to share with you. Tom, 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 like it. 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. The Tom Likus Show. Show. With the shortest commercial breaks we've ever had. Here is now six days a week. That's right. In addition to Monday through Friday here in L.A. on 97.1 FM Talk. You can hear us Saturdays from 2 until 6. Tune in this Saturday. Be there, be square. And don't forget, if you live outside of Southern California, you'd like to hear the Saturday show. You can go to blowmeuptom.com, click on the Listen Live button between 2 and 6 p.m. Pacific Time, and you'll be listening live. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. How do you feel going where your friends have been before? Let's say hello here to Corey on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Pretty good. Good. Hey, long-time listener, first-time caller, but I got a question for you. Yeah. If you had been to uh, a really, really great restaurant or you saw a movie that was just the best movie you had ever seen, would you just call your friends up and tell them about it, or would you want them to go eat at that restaurant or go see that movie? It would depend on whether I planned on having the theater to myself for a while. <laughs> <laughs> If everybody's cool with the situation, then why not? I, now, here's the thing. I'll tell you where I draw the line. I, You can take anything out of my recycle bin, and I'm good with that. <laughs> but even though I don't have any exclusive relationships necessarily, okay? Right. Um, I don't. If I'm dating five different people and you're dating five different people, I don't want my fave five to be part of your fave five. I understand. So that's where I draw the line on this. Like, like if I'm if I'm currently doing it, I don't want to send her down the hall to you. <laughs> well, now, I Gary and I, Gary and I have been on the road, Gary and I have been on the road together. We've been in hotels together. Uh, we've done very bad things in hotel rooms. Okay, very rarely have I ever been in a room with someone. That, you know, I call his extension in the hotel. Gary, this is so good. I'm sending it down to you now. <laughs> hey, if all you're going to do is pass out or maybe watch some sports center, then, you know. Trust trust me when I tell you, this is worth opening the door. Do not. I'm sending her down there right now. <laughs> that I wouldn't do. But once I'm done, once my once the run is completed, uh, then I'll be happy to say, here, take it. Take well, it. I've, had a, I've actually had the situation before where I uh, had a friend over at my house. We each had a girl there and... Uh, I went in the bedroom. He handled his business out in the living room. I got up to get a drink of water. He went back in my bedroom. I stayed in the living room. So <clears throat> there you go. Yeah, Corey. <laughs> thank you for that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Alan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, what's up? Not much. Um, so I have a situation here. Like I'm not normally a jealous guy, but I have this girl that I really like, and my friends like trying to get with her and it's just really pissing me off and i want to tell him something but i don't know what to do why is it pissing you off I, it's it's funny because i never get like this with girls but this one girl just has me crazy i don't know why are you still in love what are you in love i don't know because i don't believe in love to either well, then let your buddy have her I, it's not that easy man like, I've liked this girl for a long-ass time. Yeah, and you had her, right? Uh, we're not official yet, no. Oh, what do you mean you're not official yet? You're still seeing her? Yeah. Well, that that's a different story. I agree with you. If you're still seeing her, I'd have a problem with that, too. Yeah. That I have a problem with. 
So should I just tell him, like, hey, this is my girl or what? Well, um, you know, it's bros before hoes, isn't it? That's true. Well, I wouldn't be confrontational about it. You can have a reasonable conversation with your buddy. Yeah, I guess. All right, thanks a lot, Tom. Can you take me out? Yep, I can. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here is David on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much. Well, all I got to say is, you know what? I like the fact that I'll take sloppy seconds from my friend. Why? Because I see it. As a matter of fact, we <laughs> we do that. We have a thing that first, you know what, he's done with the girls, and he passes on over here, you know? The way we do it, you know, sometimes, you know, these girls don't know left from right that, you know, the wrong number isn't the wrong number, you know what I'm saying? I do. And sometimes they fall for it, and next thing you know, you know, if homies ain't getting none, ain't no one having fun, you know? So you're cool with their sharing at the same time. If your buddy's doing somebody, you don't mind doing them at the same time. Oh, no, no. At the same, it, it has to be a different time. You know, first you no, have no, to finish, No, you know, no, no. I, I don't mean the same, like, at 7.46 p.m. or something. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, uh, you know, this week he goes out with her and you go out with her. Oh, yeah, I don't mind. You know, if anything, That's okay with you. you. Know, it, if if he knows if he knows her better, you know he might give me some tips how to you know get her in the you know <laughs> on the bed real quick, you know. Yeah, how so, do we save time on this thing? Yeah, you know I like it. You know what? If everybody is a sloppy seconds, if you think about it, if no one was sloppy seconds, everybody would be a virgin, you know. No, I think you're right about that. Kalen on the top like his show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Kalen. Hey, I want to know how you feel about uh. Your friend's ex-wife, if you signed off on it. Well, put it this way. I'll tell you how I feel about my own ex-wives. Uh, anybody who wants them can have them. All of them. Well, what would you do if your friend's ex-wife, if, if he signed off on it to you? It would depend on why he broke up with her. You know, oh. if I thought she was trying to get pregnant and get money out of him or things, like that, I'd have no interest. If I thought she was just annoying to listen to, I'd hit it and quit it. Okay, that's very nice of you. It's awfully rude, actually. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Jackson on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Tom. Yes. How you doing, buddy? Pretty good. All right, Tom. I guess over the years I've developed my own philosophy on floppy seconds. Yeah. I, I don't hand them. I do hand them down to my friends, no problem. I've done it before. Several of my friends have been with my ex-girlfriends. I don't care about that. When I'm done with the girl, it's the niche. That's right. So you don't care who does her? No. Nah. After I'm yeah, done... Yeah, I've always said, I'm like you. I don't press the rewind button. Once I'm done with somebody, I am done. It didn't work. It didn't work for a reason, Tom. Why would you go back there? I agree with that. Travis on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Tom. Travis. I have uh, I have quite a unique thing. I I am now dating my best friend's younger brother's ex. Your best friend's younger brother's ex. Yes. Okay. I'm my best friend of thirty four years. Wow. And if I would have gone with my gut feeling and my reaction to run away, like I probably would have had, I really gone with my first reaction, I would not be with a woman who is absolutely the best thing that's ever happened to me. Wow. Bottom line, she is the rest of my life. I love her more than anything in this world. I'm one of those guys that, you know, found is somebody, and I'm done looking, but had I gone through this mentally and morally and thought about the ifs and the ands, I wouldn't be where I am today. I'd be totally miserable. I'd be single. I'd be drunk. I would be just out there floating around. So I, my advice to people is to push through it kind of like getting over an addiction. So so you're totally in love, right? Uh, absolutely, positively. There's just no doubt about it. It's uh, I've crossed the finish line. How deep uh, is your love, as the Bee Gees once said? Um, there's no words to describe it. Really? There, I can't literally describe it to her, you, or anybody. It is that I eat, sleep, and breathe her all day. I go straight home from work. I don't need to go by no one's house. I don't need a bunch of friends. I just go straight home and enjoy my life. Really? But, 
It is sloppy seconds. If you think about it, if you can push through that and you don't spend a lot of time with that person and your now girlfriend, because that can get awfully weird after a tough breakup, you don't want to put those two back together. Wow. So, so you, you, you keep the weirdness out of it, and that's it. You push it through is, the weirdness of the sloppy second element there. No, the, the relationship feelings when you put those two people back together again. Yeah. It can get awfully strange at the table. So how much do you love this girl? I love this girl enough that I'd give my own life all without even blinking an eye. Really? Absolutely. Is that so? Yep. I absolutely do. Had I gone with my first gut instinct of being conservative, nothing. See, so if you can push through it and evaluate it later instead of the knee-jerk reaction, I think you can do pretty fine with it because I was a, I was a sloppy whatever when she met me, too, so I can't act holier than her. Do you remember ESPN? Do I remember what? ESPN. Yes, I do. You do? Yeah, we watch football together on Sunday. We watch Laker games. Wow. Um, she's a technical person. She works with her hands and technology. She's she's just yeah. great. I work with my hands too. Yeah, I, well, I don't have to work with mine now. It's an option instead of an actual requirement. I understand. Tom, 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 like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. It's the Tom Likas show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. Ask for it by name. Shortest commercial breaks ever. We take more calls. We take them faster. We have stepped up the pace. We're now on six days a week in Los Angeles. Here, is, here in L.A. on Saturdays from 2 to 6. That's 2 to 6 p.m. in the afternoon, Saturday afternoon. 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. How do you feel about going somewhere your friends have been? In other words, uh, how do you feel about being with an ex-girlfriend of your friend or ex-boyfriend or ex-wife, ex-husband? Have you done this? Wow. Let's say hello here to uh, Dave on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much, Dave. I uh, just wanted to give you a shout-out to you. You got the Bomber Show on, er on air. so Thank you. You know. Uh, yeah, the question is, I'm actually in kind of a predicament here. My uh, my dad was married to this lady uh, for about four years, and all of a sudden, you know, they got a divorce. I'm not sure what the issues were. Uh, she keeps she keeps calling me, trying to get together. I don't know if I should go for it or if I should just you know kind of stay away because it's my dad's old old wife. Well, uh, what does your dad think about that? I, really, I can't even bring it up to him. I don't know how to tell him. It's kind of a recent thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, are you sure if you did that that he'd never find out? Uh, Quite possibly. I mean... No, no. I said, are you sure? No, I, the words quite possibly do not fit into the world of sure. That's the problem, yeah. Uh, he'd probably find out. I could see it. You know, I got my brother and all that, so who knows, you know. And uh, what were the circumstances of their breakup? That I, I don't know. I mean, it's they they live far away from me, and it's you know it's kind of a you know visit them here and there. Maybe you want to ask them. Yeah, I mean that sounds like a good idea. At it's least find out why they broke up. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, if it was if it was her, then who knows? She could have wanted me the whole time. Does he hate her now? Does he not talk to her? What's the deal? Yeah, I mean they're pretty much you know they're they're done. I mean. Well, she doesn't live in the same town. They don't talk to each other. Yeah. You just have to be sure that your dad's not going to find out if you're going to do that, because you know what's going to hurt him more than anything that you didn't tell him. Yeah, that'd probably piss him off. Right. Yeah. All right, cool. I'll go with what i got to just talk to him, I guess. Probably a good idea, I think. It's David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Pretty good. Hey, you know, we used to, I used to do this, I'm 40 now, I used to do this back in my mid-20s, me and my friends, you know, we'd pass around girls and you know, tell each other who's the easy one and stuff and have fun. We did that up until one of my friends ended up falling in love with one of the girls, and uh, he stopped being a friend because 
you know, he'd look at us and go, man, these guys have been where I'm at now, and, and they're with my wife. You know, and, and he couldn't take that, so he wasn't a friend anymore. So I lost, actually loved him more than I did them, the girls. So I ended up losing a really good friend over that. Wow. I, I'd still do it, you know. I, I'd still do it to this day. But, you know, there's guys who, you know, end up, if that ends up happening, you lose a good friend. Well, you know, if they tell you it's okay and then they say later it's not okay, yeah. they got problems. <laughs> well, you know, they deserve each other. You know, he's, you know, a good friend from high school. Turns out he's, you know, he's end up with some chick who just, you know, likes to whore around. You know, I'm sorry to say. I understand. David, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. David on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Pretty good. You're a good man, good man. Thank I got you. a good story for you a couple okay. years back. Me and my senior, we got, uh, we had this girl, she was all drunk and everything. She, uh, actually wanted to have sex with both of us. So what we did was, uh, pull out a coin, we gave it to her and she flipped the coin. Uh, I called tails, he called heads, and landed on tails, and I took her first, and then she went to, uh, my buddy's room afterwards, and took care of him. In the meantime, I left, and uh, she's still around, kind of. She's with uh, my roommate now, who's a different guy. Wow. Yeah. What a mouthful, huh? Well, <laughs> well that and other things. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. It's Ross on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Here's my situation. I've been dating this girl for about a year and a half. Just before I started dating her, she hooked up with one of my buddies. Now, to this day, it still pisses me off. Really? Why? It doesn't, I, I don't get, I don't even think about it unless I go out in a situation where I'm with her and my buddy in the same scene, and then I just get that mental image of the two of them hooking up, and it pisses me off, man. Anybody I'm done with, I have no problem with who they go with next, because I know where the bodies are buried. I mean, that, that's fine. That, that's fine if I wasn't dating this girl for a year and a half, man. I've done that before. You know, we've passed around girls that I don't care about. But the fact that I'm still with this one, that I actually care about her, she's still one of my buddies before Oh, that would piss me off. If, if I were still with her, that would piss me off. But what kind of girl is that you're dating? She's a good girl, man. She's a good girl. But she, she, went, and she went and had sex with somebody else while she was with you. No, man. There was the, She would never do that. There was no she sex with anybody do that. else. I'm confused now. Here's the situation, man. She had a little fleas with one of my friends before we got together. Before That's you it. got together. Before we got together. And the, and and that still bothers you? The fact that I see this guy around in my social circle. Why do you off. care? You have her. He doesn't. You're right, man. You're right, but just that that mental image of of him and her. But think about it this way. He had sex with her, but she chose you. Yeah. And not him. It's almost as if I would prefer as if she had sex with someone else that I didn't know rather than one of but my friends. Is, but your friend, clearly, your friend could not perform up to your standard. True. Can't you see it that way? This is, yeah, your, own, this is your own low self-esteem talking here. Somehow you think he had something you don't. No, man, it's a pride issue, Tom. It's a pride, pride issue. But he, he, he was there before you. You didn't have to go in after him at all. What does that have to do with your pride? The fact is when I take her out and with a bunch of my friends and he's there. So the what? Idea... The guy that she dumped in favor of you is there. So what? All right. You know, I dated a woman one time who I met when she was married. And I was at an event, and I saw the husband there. Are you kidding me? I had his wife. Yeah. Why would I be upset that he was there? Is he your friend, though? Is hey, dude, girlfriend? no hard feelings, huh? Well, we had met. <laughs> like, hey, now your wife is my girlfriend. Hey! Why would I be sitting there thinking about, oh, what it was like when those two were getting together? She left him for me. Yeah. 
if you think about it, what is there to have, have pride issues about or be jealous about? Well, I mean, what pisses me off is, what if this guy goes out and boasts up to the other guys? Yeah, man, I hooked up with this girl before, you know, Ross ever was dating her. Yeah, well, he, 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 he did, but the fact is, he, 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 he got dumped in favor of you. Yeah, man, you're right. You're right, Tom. He'd be, a fool to, he'd be a fool to brag about that. I had this really hot chick, you know, and then she left me for some other guy. Does that make him look good? Makes me look like I got the sloppy second. No, it makes you look like you had something he didn't. All right, I'll take that. That's a good point of view, Tom. Take that point of view. Run with it. Embrace All it. Right. Take it to bed with you. Put it <laughs> under the blanket. Will do. Put a couple of pillows under its neck. All right. Relax next hey, to it. Put your hands all over it. Feel Tom, the warmth feel of it. About the situation. Okay, good. Guess I'm kind of overdoing it there. <laughs> Embrace that concept. Take your fingers and rub them all over it. <laughs> it's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. Rick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? It's going great. Good to hear, man. Um, okay, I'm in a situation right now where one of my coworkers actually had sex with a girl I'm talking to right now, and I don't know if I should go for it or not. Why do you care? It's not so much I care because I think I'm going to fall in love with her or anything like that. I just don't want to hear any stupid comments from him later on, like, how does my taste or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you could ask her to bring it over, and uh, you'll you'll give it a little taste test. <laughs> hey, you think about that. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at blowmeuptom dot com. Tom at blowmeuptom dot com. The Tom Likas Show now six days a week in L.A. Tune in Saturday from two until six p.m. It's the Tom Likas Show.